doing? The Daddy and Me competition is about to start. I just wanted to run through the number one more time. Oh, there's a, there's a bop bop there. Uh, it's bop bop, then slide, then shimmy. Well, I shimmy. What do you do while I shimmy? Uh, my mind's a blank. I'm a graphic designer. I'm not a ballet dancer. Okay. Calm down. Oh, I can't do this. Now, we talked about this. There's a special prize for Daddy and me, and Poppy gets extra credit towards the Grand Supreme title. And don't you want Poppy to get the big <sighs> crown? Oh, I've never been on a stage before. Let me ask you, is there any possibility that these walls could be coming at us right now? <laughs> okay. okay. Look at me. Who are you? Uh, I forget. You are the Daddy. I don't want to be the Daddy. Daddies are strong. No, no, I'm weak. My wife is the one who makes all the decisions. These arms beg to differ. You are strong. I am? Yes, incidentally, I'm impressed. Oh, well, I, I do push-ups every night. I should say that you do. Now, come on, bop, bop, slide and shimmy, okay? Ready? Bop, bop, slide, shimmy, and then the skip, skip, turn around, and then well, we can just skip the lift because I may be less than five, six. Whoa! Okay, well then. <laughs> Sweetie, those push ups are working for you. Hello there. Oh, hi, honey. Your daughter is looking for you. It's her understanding that the category is not called and me. Uh, we were just practicing. Daddy is a little nervous. He looks it. Uh, Astrid was just helping me get through my nerves. Um, I think I'm good to go now. What a trooper. Just... They have Poppy in line. I said you'd be right there. Why don't you go ahead, Nate? And just remember, bop, bop, slide. Bop, slide. If you forget the moves, you just look for me. I'll be doing them, and I'll be right in your sight line. Cool. <laughs> well, I think we've overcome that. We're right back on track. How many pageants have a Daddy and Me category? Well, let's hope they all do. <laughs> I don't think that's a universal hope. Every opportunity we have to sparkle, we must take, especially if it gives us extra points. And isn't there also an extra fee involved? Yes, but it's hardly worth the value of the daddy-daughter bonding time. And we do want Poppy to grow up to be a woman who knows what men will do for her when she wants something. Actually, no, that's not a lesson I want to teach her at all. Oh, of course. We have to keep that a secret, or it'll stop working. <laughs> I don't know if Nate told you, but I've been out of work for two months, so we need to start being more selective about our expenses. Do you understand? You know, with just a little self-tanner, you will feel like you've been on a vacation, and your disposition will be so much sunnier. I'm unemployed. Every day is a vacation. Pale makes me look like I'm still getting a paycheck. I see. You're a workaholic, and it is time to change that way of thinking. I think it's time for Mommy. Don't worry. After what I just saw, you're going to be seeing a lot more of Mommy. No. <laughs> You mustn't feel guilty for never having come to the pageant before, because you can change that now. I could just fit you in for a few mommy and me sessions and we can write your relationship with your daughter, but quick. I, actually, yeah, I would just like to address all the extra fees. If you could itemize exactly now, which, what uh, is this? Now, I can only offer this to a few special mommies. But when I look at you, I see someone who has worked so hard to provide for her family that she hasn't left any time to provide for herself. And it is just time to take a stand. You have every right to be as pretty as your daughter. Excuse me. It is America. Everybody's equal. Well, except for you. You are special. And that is why I'm going to give you a special rate. For what? A mommy makeover. Well, I've looked better. I mean, this is all I could find. I was a managing director for 15 years, so my whole wardrobe was suits. Which is why you haven't had time to exfoliate. Don't fret. We will correct this. You know, all I really need is a job. So unless you run a Fortune 500 company, I don't think you can help me. Actually, I can. I can make you the most desirable interviewee on the East Coast. That's what I do. I prepare you for the questions that you don't know that they're going to ask you. And I will let you know what they say in the bathroom after you leave. Like, that eyebrow shape. It's not making you seem like a team player. They're going to talk about my eyebrow shape in the bathroom? And we haven't gotten to the tension in your jaw. Do you grit your teeth? Do I what? Now, it's going to take some work. But in a few short months' time, we're going to get every CEO asking for your number. I'm not applying to be an escort. I mean, who needs HR when you have HE? Hair extensions. I'm going to go watch my daughter now. 
You know, just because us women have started bringing home the bread, it doesn't mean we have to eat it. 